What's up everybody? It's me, Miss Pat, the Spiritual Light Passing Through, and today I have another video for you. Today this video is going to be for um, our preppers. This is a message that the Most High put on my heart to give to the preppers as well as the people who are remaining to, who want to remain in church, okay? <laughs> he let me see something the other night. And I want to share it to you with you all because you all need to see this because there's so many people here who think that they are prepping for what whatever they're prepping for. I don't know because whatever's going to happen on this earth will be bigger than all of us. And there's not enough prepping that you could do and not enough preparing that you could do. You don't know how nature will handle any of us. Okay. All we know is it's going to be bad. And we see the clouds gathering right now of this world as we know it ending. Okay? I don't understand a lot of things. But I understood that the Most High saw what was going to happen all the way back where he was. And he sent the message as if he was leaving a message on your cell phone and you're about to press four right now. Okay. So you can hear this message. And like I said, this is for the Gentiles who like to prep and for the Hebrews who ain't woke up and don't realize that they have been in captivity. Okay. And, uh, yeah, mainly for the people over here in America, y'all, this is for y'all. First message for the Gentiles. Here it is. I hope you're listening. Woe to you, godless ones who have no hope, who rely on things that will not happen. You're thinking that the mark of the beast and the Antichrist are about to show up. I'm sorry to give you this news, but the Antichrist already has shown up. He's the Jesus that your ancestors brought over here with you. The Catholic Church, the one the Catholic Church supplied to you, that's your Antichrist. The mark of the beast, that's your money. Everybody's, you know, got it in their pocket, so let it go, okay? Stop that. It's really old now, okay? Woe to you who have hope in the flesh and in a prison that will perish. You literally believe that you built to last. That whatever happens on this planet, your body, as long as you got some food, a gun, and a place to hide out in the damn forest, you're going to be all right. Mm. He said, how long will you be oblivious? Like, how long are you going to be stupid? Like, you can control that. And the imperishables, do you think they will not perish too? See, you all think that your government is going to save you. Your government's made of, I don't know, but you actually think that these people who are in your senators and your representatives and your president, they are indestructible because all of your life you've been taught by that your ancestors conquered everything and everybody on this planet and there's no stopping you all and ain't no end to you all's reign. You realize that, right? Y'all really do think that these people are, you know, invincible. Y'all think that. It, it, it's the most funniest thing I've ever seen. And he says, your hope is set upon the world and your God is this life. And you all are corrupting your souls because you'd have no idea that there's more to come after this. You think that this life is all there is. No, darling. There is something that comes after after you close your eyes to this place. Y'all ain't ready for that, though. Mm -mm. See, y'all ain't taught that. See, white Jesus didn't teach that in your books. He said that he came from someplace that wasn't of this world. That was your first clue. Something was up. You didn't pay no attention to that. You threw that to the side. 
He told you, eternity is a real thing. But y'all got caught up in the rapture of getting, you know, raptured up out of here. That you didn't feel like you have to go through nothing. That after you do all of this BS down here, you literally were going to get picked up and shipped up out of here. And you ain't got to pay for none of it. Have you lost your complete mind? That's why he said, how long are you going to be oblivious to the fact that it's some, that what you do down here matters? Your earthly life down here matters someplace else. Still ain't figured it out yet. Poor kids. Poor babies. You know? Sad. Sad, 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 sad. Y'all, y'all thought that your people really had y'all down like that. You know, just just mm mm. -mm. Woe to you, for the fire that burns in you is insatiable. Woe to you because of the wheel that turns in your minds. How y'all think is just you think you got high IQs and it's just that your baby, your IQ is so low you don't even know how low to the ground it truly is. Woe to you because of the burning that is in you, for it will devour your flesh openly and rend your souls secretly and prepare you for your companions. It's a lot of y'all that literally think USA, USA. We're going to take it over. We're going to kick Putin's ass. No, not, not this go around, baby. You're going to get your ass kicked. Um, I hope you read that inside your Bible. It is documented very thoroughly. Hmm. Y'all don't get it yet. You haven't figured it out yet. Now, the Gentiles that's clinging, this ain't for you. Y'all can sell over there. Y'all already know the deal. But the ones that literally think that they just going that Jesus is gonna come and take them away, yeah, y'all got y'all need to sit down right now and, and really pay attention to this because you have to understand in this life you do pay for the things that you do down here, okay? Everybody does. This is the reason why this message is for you, so you can wake your dumb ass up right now. You need to wake up. You need to understand that all the things that you have been getting away with all this time. There, you need to, you gotten away with it and you might want to start repenting. And I mean, really repenting and understanding that once you leave this life, you will wake up to something else. There is something on the other side. It really is. All your relatives that are leaving here for COVID and things like that. Yeah. You need to be praying for their souls real hard that they make it. Because see, this place was a place where you keep getting re reincarnated over and over again until you get it right. And you all came here being complete fools because of what your ancestors and your people told you who you think you are. See, America has been raping and pillaging and giving false histories for so long to set up their rule. They don't believe, y'all actually believe in your own height. And it's really sad. And now you know that the story is a lie. So now you prepping to get out of Dodge when all the sugar hits the fan. That's what you're doing now. That's what the preppers are here for. They, they done said, you know what the hell with the Bible. <laughs> we already know we in too deep. We got whole museums of stolen shit from other countries that we stood around and pounded our chest that we're proud of. Okay? They know it's a wrap, so that's why they prep it. But for the people who actually went to church and believe what their pastor was trying to say, I'm sorry to tell you, your pastor, it was ill-informed. You gave him a lot of money, and he lived really, really nice, especially your mega preachers. Lived really, really nice on your book for teaching you nothing. Because the fact that they taught you nothing is the reason why you're going to perish. And you don't see that the time is running out. All these other books that they had that they hid, including this one that I'm reading to you. This is this is Thomas, the contender, the book of Thomas. They took it out the Bible. They took it out the Bible because just maybe it might help you in this time where your people have made the mistakes, horrible mistakes that you as an ancestor are going to have to pay for 
in their seat, just like mine did. Now, regardless to who they say are the people over there, ishing them, they don't fit the curses at all. So if our history in America is a lie, that they came over here and it wasn't nobody here other, you wasn't nobody on this land when they showed up other than white folks, and, they, and you all believed that, the Indians were here, and they weren't all this color of the Indians that they made everybody to believe. Majority of them look like me. Okay? Majority of them had my facial complexion and all of that. And you all believe that all the slaves came from over in boats. No, some people were shipped out of here to other places to be slaves while your people took over. Because if you had all this money to bring slaves here and there and everywhere, then what did you need to come over here and steal other people's shit for? Your whole entire history is made up of pillaging and stealing things from other people. Not cute. Not nothing to be, yeah, we're proud. We're the biggest and best thieves in the world. That's what we've, that's what you all have done. And you pounded your chest about it. And you think it's cool and they think it's cute. And now you realize it ain't too cute to run around telling everybody I'm a damn thief. Nobody's feeling that. And other countries are not feeling it. And you telling them how, how you should act and you should be this and you should be that. Wait a minute. How is a, I'm sorry, excuse my language, but how is a hoe going to tell a, a woman how to be a housewife? I mean, come on now. And that's exactly how the countries are looking at you all. How, how, how can you tell me how to not to be a thief and you've been stealing everything that's up in here and you've been going on tour with, the, with stolen shit? How you going to tell me how to live? That's what China's telling America. That's what Russia's telling America. Don't tell me what to do in my backyard when you've been doing all kind of stuff. Who are you playing with? See, all the mean girls now are turning on each other. It happens. But you as a Gentile, you that feels like you a good person. I ain't never hurt nobody in my life. I've worked hard for everything I have. All I do is go to church, take care of my kids, and da-da-da-da-da. You bought into their ideology. Hook, line, and sinker. And if a black person gets killed on the street, yeah, what did they do? They probably was stealing. Their mother was a crack addict. Something had to be wrong with us. The first thing out of you all's mouth. You have no sympathy for nobody else. That's because this entire society has built it up this way. But yet you think this is it. It ain't nothing past y'all. You all have been made to think that you all are gods in yourselves. You go to other people's country, disrespectful. I've seen it even when I've traveled. The attitudes, entitlement that you hold in other people's countries. Yeah, he's right. How long are you going to be ambivalent to the fact that at some point, the bill does come due? But I'm going to get off y'all. Because we all live here in America and we all know. Just how far the rabbit hole goes with y'all. But really, come on now. I'm sorry, your churches have did you a disservice. They've taught you a whole bunch of, you know, different types of teachings without understanding what was truly being said. You don't understand why, why Jesus Christ, your Jesus Christ died. He died because he was trying to tell you, you didn't need a church. All you needed was the most high. He died because he was making preachers obsolete, okay? Giving you ability to talk to your father on your own. You didn't need a Catholic church to sit up here and forget some dude in red shoes and a little dress and everything to help you get a prayer through. Why do I need a middleman and why do I have to pay him? Since when does prayer cost money? I mean, just really. 
Don't you see the scam? Come on now. We are living literally in a, what, thousand year scam, 500 year scam, and, and you all don't see it. All orchestrated by the Catholic Church. I'm sorry to say that for all you Catholics that are devout Catholics. But have you looked at the people who you all are praising? I mean, they got a bunch of child molesters. These people are extremely rich. They have, a, they have enough money to have their own entire country in Rome. They're funding wars. They hide child molesters in other places. They don't punish them and take them out of, out, out of business and get rid of them out of their religion. They just place them someplace else and say nothing and keep their mouths shut. How do you sit there in a religion like that? I'm just saying. But you don't realize the time, what time it is right now. Now here's the black folks who sitting in church still believing in white Jesus. Woe to you captives. Yeah, that's who you are. You were captives. You were bought here in different places all over the place, shipped to places that you knew nothing about, stripped of your language and everything else. He's saying, woe to you captives. You are bound in caverns, which are your churches. You laugh in mad laughter and you rejoice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And run around the church like you're a damn mental patient. You neither realize your hell nor do you reflect on your circumstances. Nor have you understood that you dwell in darkness and in death. You have bought into the Gentiles' American dream. You got a couple of kids in college, 30-year mortgage, couple of nice cars, and you think you are like them. Some of you all have went to become vice presidents <laughs> until you have your nigga moment. Some of you all are inside, you know, local governments and got good jobs. You dwell in darkness, darling. You have bought into this whole entire sham. You think this is all there is. Your job, your little life. You go to church. You find you a little husband or significant other, whatever, and that's it. That's all. And the real people that control everything are people inside your circle. You are a complete fool. And most and the most high says, on the contrary, you are drunk with fire and full of bitterness. Your mind is deranged on the account of the burning that is in you. And sweet to you is the crown of your enemies' blows. So every time they knock you down and give you your nigga moment, because they do, you think it's sweet. It's okay. I'll, I, I, I'll find another way. You want to just keep on playing in that circle no matter what. And the darkness rolls for you like the light. For you surrendered your freedom for servitude. All want to be like them. Uh, you want to be like them. You want to sit up in the church. You want to have what they got. I was just like that too. That's the only reason why I'm talking to you. But then at some point you have to wake up. Because the most high for the captives. He had something special for you. But only if you unharden your hearts and get unstiff necked. Because we are stiff necked people. We hard headed. My grandmother used to say, a hard head make a soft ass. And believe me, us black folks, we some hard headed folks. We are hard headed. We hard headed. We more die hard about preachers and what the pastors say than anybody I've ever seen in the world. Even Gentiles will say, you know what? Some of this shit, I need to just let it go. And black folks will be like, no, nah, I'm sticking with it all the way to the end. Because you're trying to find something. You're trying to hold on to something. You just don't know what you're holding on to. And you refuse to open up a book. And find it for yourself. If I handed you this book, if I handed you a few books, because all of them got bones in them, all of them been, you know, messed with, and you can tell if you're a learned person, 
All these years of law, it paid off for me because I know a lie when I see one, okay? So these books are not perfect, but they do throw a couple of gems at you, baby, like this. Because this, the way that this chapter started off did not, had nothing. It, it went completely do 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 And I'm like, okay, message. This is a message all the way from back in your crisis time that came all the way meant for 2022 but the chapter didn't start out this way but look at the message oh see it's little things hidden because our enemies went through these books and tore things up but to a mind that's watching the way the ball is moving you can pick it up that's something i need that's something I need. When you look for facts, facts in a story, you can tell when somebody's written themselves in there. You can tell. So all them years of me going to school did pay off. <laughs> I know when somebody's written themselves into a story. But people don't understand that you gave up. Your freedom for this BS. You don't even realize it. You sitting in a church with somebody telling you, giving you the same story every year, and you can like clockwork. It's your season. It's your season, honey. It's all going to come through for you right here. You hear that same BS conversation every year. He ain't giving you nothing else different. Why do you come there every Sunday? I, I, I just really like to know. You bought into the world around you. You don't know nothing else. You don't want to know nothing else. But yet, anybody that offers you to offers you a little bit more ways to be able to expand your understanding, since you love the Lord so much, if you love the Lord so much, you don't have a problem expanding your knowledge about Him, because that ought to be your number one thing: is whatever I need to know. To expand myself further, should be no problem, right? I love the Lord. If you love him, learn some more. But you ain't finna do that. It says your dark and thought, your dark and hearts and surrender you darken your hearts and surrender your thoughts to folly. You fill your thoughts with the smoke of fire that is in you, and your light is hidden in the clouds of darkness, and the garment that you put upon you you pursue deceitfully. And you were seized by hope that does not exist. And when and, and whom is it that you believed? Do you not know that you all dwell among those who want you to curse yourselves as if your hope was non-existent? He's telling you. The folks that gave you your Bible and made you think that all you was was an African that came from another land and transferred over here on a boat and uh, Abraham Lincoln emancipated you and you know and then you went through the 60s with Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and in the 70s and 80s you know and all of those things that happened in that time and here you are that's the history that they gave they want you to believe that your people wasn't the ones that the Bible was talking about that he's coming back to say. They want you to believe that that's non-existent. Oh, but in church, no, 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 they didn't. They said they gonna, that we gonna get raptured. All of us that love the Lord is gonna get raptured. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> that's what you need to understand. I ain't no getting out of this unless you die, baby. You, this is a blood game. Blood in, blood out. I hate to tell you that. In order for you to get your God body, this body, you got to put down. But see, you wouldn't know that only reading your Bible. And it tells you in your Bible, but it tells you in a metaphoric way. And the reason why he talked to you all in metaphors is because 
in order to get the message in to the people who understand the truth today. It had to be done in a very special kind of way because everybody ain't meant to know the truth. They're not. And the ones who do know had to go and seek it out and find out for themselves. And I'm sorry, darling. <laughs> it ain't in the Bible that they gave you. It ain't in the K it ain't in the KVC Bible. Uh-uh. It ain't in the King James Version. I'm sorry. That's full of metaphors. Metaphors you don't know. Metaphors that the that the priests of Mahan have made up their explanations for what they mean. And baby, they way off. They way off. <laughs> Even some of our Hebrew camps is way off. If they just took the extra step to open up the seal portion, if they took the extra step to open up the Zohar, they would sit back and they whole minds would be blown. Like, wait a minute, it ain't this hard. No, it ain't this hard. It's not that hard at all, honey. It, 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 Y'all, we done mixed it up, made it harder than it has to be. The Nag Hammadi, all you got to do is go in there, open that bad boy up, and your whole life will change. This life is not all there is. It's not. Some people know the game. Some people don't. But I can't just up and tell you this. That's the reason why I'm not worried about what they're going to do here. I'm not prepping. Prepping for what? Because I can't fight nothing that's coming through them skies. And they say, oh, yeah, yeah, if something comes through the sky, it's going to be the Antichrist. No, it's not. No, it's not. You all think science is just, is just the shit that these people tell you on, on these channels. You think the highest level of science is this bullshit we got here? Darling, we are living in spit and toilet paper land, okay? If you take away the electricity, this false light and all this other stuff, we don't even know how to use our own our nature other than, what, a couple of solar panels? That's as close as that we done got to using nature to help us do things. You, We still paying a whole bunch of rich families just to have lights, gas, and water. I mean, come on. The kind of technology that, that, anyway, I can't even get into that with y'all because I, I would have to take y'all to a whole nother place and half of y'all ain't ready for that. Y'all, half of y'all can't even understand one, one passage out of your Bible the correct way. But you literally believe that you're going to get Ushered up out of here. You done did all this dirt on this planet, and y'all you gotta say is Jesus, I Jesus loves me and I'm saved, and then that's the end of that. You sleep with other people's husbands, you're treating other people like crap, you sitting up here running, gossiping, and telling on all kinds of things. You you hate your neighbors, you can't stand talking to them. All the Ten Commandments, they don't exist no more. You know, they told you that stuff was done away with. What are you talking about? Law's never done away with. Law is law. You need to be following it. You ain't followed that in years. You ain't never even tried. Some of y'all married to the person that you sit up there and adulterated with. You understand? You stole your best friend's girlfriend. You understand? Know you stole your best friend's husband. And married him yourself and think you're going to get away with that. Hmm. That's interesting. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of things that we've been up to that we, we ain't got ourselves together yet. And y'all literally prepping, but you ain't prepping your heart for the time that you stand in front of the most high in judgment. You ain't prepping for that because you don't believe he exists. And that's where you done messed up. That's why I said, are you completely oblivious to the fact that this is beyond your control, Gentiles? And also our higher-headed Hebrews, you don't realize what time it is. Your sun is no longer yellow. It is white. You got UV rays coming off this bad boy that usually happen in the hottest months of the summer. And it is winter time and barely spring. You honestly think you're going to survive the reconstruction of a planet. And you would want to? 
where there's not going to be anything green left. Why would you want to survive that? But some of y'all going to survive that shit because y'all dastardly as hell. You that evil that you going to have to get your behind whooped that badly. I'm still believing in the USA. We will return. How crazy is that? But y'all better wake up. Like I told you, some of us will make it. And some of us won't. But I'm cool with that. Why, why be afraid of death? For what? Most of us have reincarnated here a thousand times and still couldn't get right. This camp can't get right, Earth. <laughs> it really is. Camp can't get right, Earth. But this time, something is coming to teach everybody how to act. How to not be prejudiced, not how to be, how to love each other properly. How to not stand in judgment of each other. And see, what you Gentiles don't understand, you need to take a long, long look at your black brothers and sisters. And you say, why should I take a little look at them? Because we were you once. Mm -hmm. We were you once. Hard to believe, isn't it? But then again, no, it's not. You all use us for entertainment right now. That's as much as you wanted to see of us because excellence, sometimes is a lot to take. Y'all can't barely take it inside of sports, so Lord knows if many of us were scientists and things like that, y'all would have a heart attack. Y'all would just be over it. But we would want you all. They say the dark ages. I know what the dark ages truly meant. That was the time when we ruled. And we screwed up. And the Most High punished us. He used you all to punish us. Now is your turn for the belt. How well are you going to handle it? I hate to tell you, we had 400 years. Y'all got double. Y'all, y'all went way overboard. Y'all went way overboard, man. And look at the state of our people. We only have a few that got good sense. How your people gonna fare? If they fare at all. Why you prepping? You might want to revamp that train of thought into repenting. Instead of prepping, opening some books and reading, instead of prepping. And for the black folks that's following along, you might want to do the same. Because some of their fate ain't supposed to be your fate, but it will be your fate if you don't get your head on right and understand what was prepared for you. That they made you think didn't exist for you. See you in the next video. Bye.